All right, another level that you guessed it, we can't actually complete because we'll have to come back once we have the red gem. All right, so it gave you a hint there about if you die a lot, to keep an eye out for new checkpoints. That is in reference to the fact that they will give you pity checkpoints if uh, you die too much. That actually did not start until Crash 2, um, but they retained that and brought it back into Crash 1 for the Insane Trilogy. As they have noticed, a lot of people die in Crash games, apparently. I don't know. It's weird. I don't actually need that. Why am I dancing around it, waiting for it to become collectible? Anyway, once again, remember, you gotta hold X when you're on the bouncing things, almost all the time. Anything that bounces, you can hold X and get a longer bounce off of. Keep that in mind, because you're gonna need that if you're on the bridge levels later on, which we'll be seeing in the second island. Spin away this monkey. He's kind of a jerk. Kind of deserved it. Okay, good. That wasted enough time to let that thing go down and up. Okay. So, again, this is a sequel level where everything you've learned from the previous attempt you were at, or not attempt, but previous time you were in a similar level, uh, it's gotten much harder and much longer. And that didn't sound right as I said it out loud, did it? Oh boy. Anyway. We're going to go and make sure we don't die to TNT. Remember, you can go backwards in this game. This isn't Mario or Super Mario Brothers. We're good. Again, we don't really need that uh, ton of mask or icon. I keep wanting to say mask for some reason um, since we can't complete the level. I've seen that about 20 times now. I think you get the idea. I'm going to grab this Aku Aku. It's just right over there. Uh, careful, though. You're probably... Probably gonna fall. It's uh it's a given. It's not an easy grab, I'm gonna admit. We have that lovely 2D background that uh is static. Good job. I think it actually moved dynamically in the background uh last time. Oh, by the way, I went into the background there. <laughs> uh so we could skip the majority of this area, so you don't actually have to do that. It's nice. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, hit that checkpoint. This is where it gets real tricky. I hope you've got Aku Aku with you. If not, uh, might be a little bit more difficult. Want to make sure we retain ourselves. You can always go back up. Just keep in mind these things are slippery, so you don't want to fall off. Easy. Uh, well, you know. I would actually advise not holding X on that first one and just gunning it to the second uh, bounce there. And you hold X after that one to make sure you can make reach the platform. It's going to be really tight. Just be careful. And of course, that's where your red gem's gonna be on the second visit here. Woo! Okay. Alright, so this one is what trips up so many people. Look at the background. Do you see anything odd about the background? I'm pointing it out right now. So we're gonna jump here, jump here, go up. Do not hold X for that entire segment, or A, or B if you're on Nintendo Switch. Uh, you mainly want to just... Hold the button after you're going to the next segment, uh, or wait right about right for the next segment. Just wait for the fire to die down, and you'll be safe here. It's not that easy to do, though, of course. So, just just letting you letting you know, it's a little bit difficult. Anyway, let's head over here. We don't have any way of getting all these uh, crates, so don't worry. But we can move on to the second island and hopefully get some uh, gems there, some color gems. But, of course, they've got a little bit of a gimmick on how you get the color gems. It's a throwback to how the game originally played for getting gems.